Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka Divitruving Gamer, and I'm here with a video, a channel update, because it's it's time to do a channel update. Because I know I've been gone for a while. Uh, now, a few days ago, I uploaded my first video, an unboxing in a long time, and uh, I just want to talk to you guys and girls why that's the case. And I have some apologies to do. Uh, I have some to talk about the future, but I want to give you my reasons why I have been gone for this long, why I haven't been doing all my updates and stuff like that. Now, let me tell you what is going on in my life. So first of all, uh, in November last year, I changed jobs. That's the first thing. And um, all's good, great job. A stressful job uh, and it was a new job so I had to learn all new things because I was well uh, following the footsteps of someone who went into his pension uh, which means that I had to learn everything in a very short time and after that I was thrown into the deep and I had to do it all by myself which was hard pretty hard because I didn't have any experience in the job that I do now so it was a very stressful time, uh, tiresome time as well. Now that's reason number one that I've been more quiet. Uh, why did not have much time or, well, the strength to do this? The second thing is we have been doing some renovations here in this house. We uh, they were uh, we placed new windows, uh, which we did apparently during a polar vortex, or so they called it, which means that um, it was very very cold here very many things to do with the windows much dust dirt mess here in the house which wasn't that pleasant and each evening we had to go to my parents uh, in law uh, my in-laws uh, to take care of our cats who were staying there so it was a, were very long days very stressful and tiresome days which didn't make me feel like doing any filming at all that's number two. Uh, number three, what else? Oh yeah, my laptop. Now, I hope this video works because I've been filming stuff, say January or so. I still wanted to film stuff and I did, but somehow my laptop just is dying slowly but surely. And which means that um, sometimes when filming, I'm recording the sound on the laptop and my laptop just can, can't keep up with the sound. So I lose parts of the sound. So when I'm editing, I find out, but I filmed it already. I put everything on my laptop, all the files, the sound file and all the stuff. I have to upload it into my editing program, which takes a while. And then during editing, which also takes a while, I discover I'm missing parts of the sound. So everything I did was gone. I did unboxings that way. I did, I did think I started one playthrough, failed uh, and so on. And that was so demotivating that I just couldn't take it anymore. I just, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't tell myself to try again. I just couldn't. It was so tough. Um, so I hope this works because I I really want to put this video online. So, uh, uh, well, this is the first recording, so we'll see. So that's another reason why I haven't uh, been putting up content in a, quite a while. And the last reason is, well, it's a, it has two reasons. The last two reasons are first, uh, views were, really getting lower and lower somehow. My channel was growing, I had more viewers, especially uh, when I reached 1000 subscribers at my contest, which was successful. But after that, it was a cat. Uh, after that, views started to get really low. Uh, I didn't get any new subscribers anymore. And well, that was also kind of tough because I'm, I'm although I'm not I don't do this for the numbers but still you you the numbers give you some satisfaction some idea of how well how much your your channel is liked or loved or whatever uh, or appreciated anyway and um, 
somehow I had the feeling that it was a little bit stagnating, a little bit even dying a little bit. So that was sad, and uh, I, I'm, I tend to be one who, who, well, who feels about ways about those things and get a little bit depressed by stuff if that happens and I I know it's wrong to do so and I know I have reasons enough to continue this but I had a hard time uh, so and and I also realized I saw some other YouTube channels uh, being born and growing like this so I did three or four years to get thousand subscribers and other channels they are there suddenly and well in two three months they are they have more subscribers than I do, which um, I shouldn't care about, but still somewhere I, I cared and that was maybe that was wrong and I, I, but I can't do anything about it. I still care about it and I still hope I can grow this channel a little bit, uh, but I have little means and which, uh, which means I don't have a lot of money to spend on uh, equipment, um, better sound effects. I don't know how to edit well i i don't know how to do special things i ha i'm filming with normal lightning i don't i don't know how to work with all the special lightning with isolation to have better sound uh, i don't have a studio <laughs> with special things uh, maybe we're we're also renovate yeah we're also renovating our attic maybe if that's ready i can because my game room will be there in the future maybe i can make something to have to film in front of, so this is pretty, it's, it's cooler that way. Who knows? And also, um, I'm well. I'm living in a small country, Belgium. Um, not that many designers here. Not that many cool board game events. There are some events, there, are, uh, but not that many as many as in America. Uh, for example, and I see many new YouTubers in America having really easy access to designers, to publishers. Uh, they have sponsorships with stores, big stores. We don't have big board game stores, all small, small ones with, who, who don't care about the channel and especially not an English language channel. So that's something else. And and then the last reason, which is totally my bad, and I've been struggling with this for months now, and it's and it has been better, and since a couple of months, it's getting worse and worse again, and that is my introvert nature. So I've been willing to go to events and talk to designers, film stuff, prototypes, and all those things. I just can't do it. I'm too introvert. I am scared. I bring my equipment, which I. It's not a lot, it's a camera. That's it, that's all the equipment I have. I don't have a special microphone, so I would have good sound if I do interviews or something at conventions where there's a lot of noise. So quality will, wouldn't be good at all, uh, but still, I just can't do it. I'm, I, I want to do it, I'm prepared, I bring my equipment, my camera. Um, I have plans in my head and when I'm walking around there, my camera doesn't even get out of my backpack because I'm I'm scared. That's why it's so stupid. Uh, also, uh, in, I want to go to board game meetings where people play board games to board game groups or clubs uh, because now I'm home on Saturday, which wasn't the case in the, my previous job. I just can't do it. And uh, I think two weeks ago I had my worst episode about that and. It was terrible. I was really pissed off at myself. <laughs> uh, but hey, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to try to work on it. Now, <laughs> that's a long story why I haven't been here for a while. And that brings me to the next thing about that. I want to apologize and I have to apologize to quite a lot of people. And that saddens me because one of the main things about this channel is my my interaction with people. Uh, there weren't that many who commented on my videos, but there were some and some some someone who uh, some people who react to every video I make, which I really, really appreciate. And I really am excited about still. But again, the last months, um, I haven't been responsive. 
uh, two comments on the videos. I haven't put up a lot of videos, but I had some. I had still some comments on older videos, which is cool, which has surprised me quite a bit. And somehow I didn't find the strength or the motivation to respond to them because I, they were often questions about rules in the gameplay and they were older videos so I would have to do some digging into what does it mean, what part of the video, what did I do there and check the rules and stuff like that because there are some games that I haven't played in a while and I couldn't get motivated to do so and I feel really bad about it uh, that I haven't answered it. Now, the last video I put up, my um, unboxing of roleplayer I uh, got some comments I tried to respond again from now on but for all of you that didn't get a response on comments I'm so sorry I am I'm ashamed really then next thing is I have to apologize to some publishers now I don't have all the names of the publishers but in the last six months I got some questions to do some previews and I was very excited at that time still, uh, things were normal and I said yes sure, uh, I want to try it out, I want to uh, show your product, your game to my uh, subscribers and they sent me a prototype copy, preview copy um, and as you might see on the channel there hasn't been any preview since a long time so I have had these games, I even played some of those preparing to make a video and I haven't put up any content for those people who took the effort, make the expenses of sending the copy to me and that was, and I feel really, really guilty about that. Um, there was, for example, the Kickstarter for the day dice, it's called like that. I, the, the thing about that one is I got the game, I was so excited, I played it a couple of times to learn the rules, to get the flow of it and I started filming and that's when my laptop started to really mess up the sound. Um, I had problems with light because it was uh, autumn, even almost winter I think and light was terrible so I had a very small time frame to film in when I got home from work. Um, and all things went wrong with that one so and I was feeling so bad and I didn't dare to tell the publisher that things got messed up and I couldn't get that video on and I really feel bad about that I'm sorry to that publisher for sure there are some few small publishers um, of which I did not know how to respond because I got their game and I played it and I didn't really like it so I I felt like I shouldn't be putting on a bad preview or I shouldn't be lying as telling things that I didn't me really mean so but I also didn't have the guts to tell them so that's really stupid of me and uh, again I apologize to those publishers and last but not least um, a couple of months ago two months ago um, the people from Arconia Games they contacted me I did a preview for uh, another game of them uh, which the title escapes me completely I'm so it has been a while and uh, last Essen they uh, gave me this copy of Small Star Empires, which was a, a game they already published, uh, which is quite popular apparently. <laughs> uh, this is a small, uh, a, a small uh, area control game, uh, two to four players. I haven't played this yet, so they contacted me if I could do a preview of their two small expansions for this game, and I told them, "Oh yeah, uh, I'm really." honored that you asked me again but I haven't played the ga base game yet so I'm not sure uh, and then they responded well it's not a difficult game uh, it's very simple even and that's it but I never told them yeah okay send me the copies but two weeks after that I received the prototypes of the game or of the expansions Dawn of Discoveries and the Galactic Divide I was surprised I wasn't prepared and I still haven't played Small Star Empires now. So I haven't made a video about these expansions. So that's why I'm using this video to talk about this anyway. Because these guys from Arcona Games, they're pretty awesome. And they deserve better than how I reacted to this. 
Um, so, small star empires, uh, small but uh, and simple uh, area control game. And now they have two expansions on Kickstarter. There are still 13 days left at time of this recording. So, um, go check it out. Um, what does this expansion add? And there's also a second edition of this game. It adds fifth and sixth players. Pretty cool. It adds uh, factions or um, civilizations, I assume it was. Let me check. I'm not saying anything wrong. Uh, so the new edition has a new score track and uh, some nebula markers, apparently. There is, let's see, uh, the Galactic Divide has four civilizations in it, which makes it more uh, of an asymmetrical game, which is pretty cool. Always cool. There are battle stations now that you can place and uh, you can get power by those stations and uh, use them on unique abilities. That is also always pretty cool, uh, the asymmetrical stuff. Uh, so I really like that. Um, that's pretty cool. And then we have Small Star Empires Dawn of Discoveries, the second expansion, um, which lets you build research stations and then you can gather minerals. You can research technologies with those minerals. So it looks like it. these two small boxes, uh, they add quite a bit of well cool stuff to a simple game. So if you already know star, Small Star Empires and you think I could, I want to expand this game to be it being even more than it already is, because there's a lot in this small box, by the way. Um, well, check out their Kickstarter. I'll put the link in the description down below. You still have 13 days left uh, to uh, to bag it. And again, again, Arconia Games, I'm sorry that I didn't do a playthrough um, or a rules explanation. I'm so sorry. Um, my apologies. Uh, I hope, well, we were at good terms. I hope we're still friends. I really, really am sorry. I really have to apologize for this. Okay. Let's go to something maybe for some of you more interesting. Let's talk about the future of this channel, um, how things will be going. So this channel isn't dead. That's the good news. I'm, I'm here, I'm back, but I'm going to change some things up. I'm not going to, uh, I, I was planning to do some series each week, every day, the same thing. So if you know what to expect. I, I can't do that and I just can't do it. If something goes wrong with the sound, I'm screwed. If my laptop dies, I'm screwed. And if I don't have the time, I'm too late. I can't do it. I feel guilty. I feel bad. I feel stressed. And that's not the idea of having this channel. This is for fun. This is to help you. This is for fun for me. This is for everybody, but there shouldn't be any stress. So I'm not going, I'm going to stop in the first place making promises. I'm not going to say I'm going to do a playthrough of this. I might do a this or a do that. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to do something at the time that I can when I feel like it. That's how this channel is going to work. Now I'm going to be more responsive. Another cat. Uh, that's for sure. I'm going to be responsive again. If you have if you take the time and the effort to comment, I'm the only the at least I can do is to respond. Now, besides that, what am I still going to do? Do what I always did. I might do a playthrough. Who knows? I'm not sure. There are a lot of cool games here, but playthroughs are not easy because I need my table space for a while to do playthroughs because it takes a while to film and to edit and all those things. And I prefer not to film it in one take because if I do rule mistakes, oh man, those room mist <laughs> rules mistakes, then I, again, I'm screwed and I have to put, I do have to edit stuff and put things in the comments and all those things, <sighs> which I don't have that much time for. Uh, so I'm going to try to do it in small parts, but then I cannot play the game in real life or I have to have my table free in my game room, which is a mess at this moment because of the renovations of the attic. Yes. So, but I'm not doing any promises. There probably gonna be playthroughs. There will be more unboxings. First plate, um, 
is still going to exist. I like still like the idea of me telling about talking about my first play of a new game, but it might be less structured. I had a real structure in the rules explanation. I might, oh, that's so professional. I might uh, make it a little bit more simple for myself, but still it might be interesting. Um, besides that, um, well, that's it. I'm still alive, uh, alive and maybe back to kicking, who knows. Um, I don't want to give up this channel. It has given me a lot in the in the past and I'm sure it will give me a lot in the future. I hope I still have your support, which would be awesome. I hope my laptop doesn't die because, oh yeah, I'm getting married in August and that's expensive. I don't have the money. I don't have the money to buy a new laptop at this moment. So I'm, I'm not praying, but I'm so I'm hoping it doesn't die on me anytime soon for sure. All right, besides that, uh, oh man, um, if you're going to UK Gaming Expo, Games Expo, if I have any viewers who go there by any chance, it looks like I'm going to the convention there. Uh, I have this chance because of Portal Games. They uh, help me lower the expenses to go there. So. Uh, uh, after this video, I'm going to order my plane tickets and um, I should be going to the, uh, to Birmingham next month, at the end of next month. Uh, so that will be pretty cool. So if you're there, well, uh, check out, maybe uh, try to find me at the Portal Games booth. Uh, that's the safest bet to find me and say hi if you want. And hope you hopefully you forgive me for being gone for a while. That's it, folks. Uh, I'm going to end it here. It's been a long, it's a long video, uh, a long rambling, and uh, you probably already fa uh, have fallen asleep by now. Thanks for watching anyway. Thanks for, I hope, thanks for uh, accepting my apologies. Thanks for still being here uh, because I was, I was really surprised that my, my um, subscribers uh, level was still uh, on par. It was, I think it's even on higher since the lo I checked a couple of months ago so that's pretty strange and cool so again thank you all for watching this thank you for b still being here thank you for your support um, this channel is still alive I'll be here back soon uh, how soon I have no clue with what which content I don't know um, we'll see thanks and again see you all in the future bye bye